So the other day, uh, we unboxed the uh, Van True. What is it called? Uh, this is like the part two. No, not part two. I'm still sick. Just leave me alone. Element. We did the element one. We unboxed the element one. And we're, we're currently at time of filming. We have that camera installed in our car and we're, we're letting it capture footage so we can test it. But today I figured, because we have this one, this is, this is the part two. And I think, as far as I know, uh, it's the same, but as you can see right here, it's got a second camera, right? Second camera. So we're going to take at the, uh, take a look, take a look. <laughs> I hate being sick. We're going to take a look at the Vantru Element 2 and uh, put it in the car and see what we think. Okay, so box wise, box wise, a very, very similar to the Element 1, which I would expect it to be because of the fact that, as far as I can tell, I would say it's like the same, same kind of camera with uh, the addition of. Uh, my guess is you could use this in the back window. Or if you really wanted to, you can put it up in the front window and have it face forward, like into the cabin, which, you know, it's really up to you what you want. Uh, it comes with the remote, same as the Element 1 does. Um, uh, Element 2, same same deals. There's your QR code for downloading the app, which I've done already. Uh, as let's see here. Spec-wise, my guess is it's probably the same. Uh, no, this one's actually, this. so this one's, it's, it is a little different because the other one was a 2.5K, the other one, but only front facing camera, right? No rear. Uh, this one is 1944P front and 1944P rear. Now, I always, I always, I'm, I, I want to see that because, you know, if you look at it, it's 1080P, right? So then you'd be like, oh, it's, but it's 1920 by 1080. So when this is 19... 44p i don't know if the if that's the horizontal or the vertical well after we try it out i'll let you know um voice control wi-fi and app control wireless remote control gps track a sony starvis Im image sensor wdr wide dynamic range wide viewing angle four parking monitor modes magnetic assist mount super capacitor extreme temp protection cpl filter which is optional so everything except the resolution as far as I can tell, and again, I, I may be wrong because if it's 1944 on on the on the horizontal, not this way, then it could be 2.5K, right? Because, you know, 4K is like, what is it? By 20 something, 3840 by 20, oh, sweet Lord, by 2160, 2160. So it wouldn't be very far from this. So what happens when you're everything's a muddled mess up in there right now? I'm telling you. Okay, right, let's let's crack it open. I, I have a feeling, unboxing wise, this is going to be the same as the other one, except uh, that it has the rear rear camera in it, right? So let's crack it open. Uh, price wise, I don't know. Uh, I'll put links down below. You guys can take a look. And honestly, me seeing the price in the video could change the moment that I, I but between me filming it and the moment that you guys get a chance to see it so it really doesn't matter links down below go check it out uh design word a word if that means anything which it, maybe it does and we'll pull this and this is the right way it seems seems like it i guess it goes this way it seems it seems like you would think this part would be but no okay i'm i'm on i'm on board I'm on board i do have to say i like the van shoe cameras i've tried some van shoe cameras in the past very happy with them so yes, you can see from here, um, this has a little, it's a little different because, and I noticed this on the other one. The other one had two USBs, or you can see in the, in the instructions here, right? Two USB-C ports on it, one on the mount, one on the camera, same with this, but uh, really only one of them was used. This one, both get used, one in the camera, one in the base, and that's gonna be for that rear camera. Now, depending on how long this cable is, which it does look like it's not overly long, uh, my guess is from here that it's going to be an an, an 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 internal an internal, right? For looking into the cockpit of the car, which I actually like because I hate running something into the back window. I don't want to do it. This looks like small cable, so that's good. Which means I like that. I do like that. All right. So camera, camera looks. Uh, I was going to say it looks the same, but the same, but sort of the same, but different. The other one was. 
definitely, the other one was more square. Do I have the other one? No, it's upstairs. It's in the car. I'm oh, sweating. Anyways, uh, this one is wider. The other one was more squarish, right? I do like the fact that it still has the orange button, uh, micro SD card right there, because the orange button is nice when it's up and, and up there, you can kind of see where your power button is. Um, there's going to be your USB-C port on the back for actually connecting. My guess is this would be where you connect the rear. It actually says on there rear. Um, and this is going to be for their mount where you click it in, which, which is nice. Uh, you do have your menu buttons on the bottom. Um, these ones, I don't know. I don't know if these are like speakers or if they're like, uh, heat dissipation vents. I kind of thought they were vents because the, the other one, which is again, smaller had more. And so I thought it was vents, but again, I'm not hundred percent sure. Um, this has a bigger screen. The other one's just a square screen. So this has a widescreen on it. Um, so use this to watch movies. You got widescreen. Don't do that. You can't do that. You probably can't do that. Uh, other than that, the camera looks good. The front camera is awesome size, beautiful, like really nice and large. So I'm hoping we can get some really good clarity out of that. And it says right there, Van True. That's, that would be the mic, my guess. That would be the mic right there. Okay, so you also get a little remote, which is cool. And this remote, uh, which I've kind of figured out, is the ability to, uh, if something happens, somebody cuts you off, something does something, you know, somebody walks in front of your car and bangs on the hood or whatever it is. And you're like, oh no, capture that, right? Hit that and you can hit the record. It'll take... It'll take a video, it'll take a photo, uh, and it'll lock that so that, you know, <clears throat> maybe you forget or your whatever it is. You don't have a big memory card in there. And it'll, and this has happened to me where I'm recording video for a review for days. And of course, I didn't put a big enough card in there. Or I didn't realize how much space that, that dash cam was going to use. And it started overwriting the files in the beginning. So if you lock this, because you have this, you're like, no, lock that, um, then that file gets stored. It's not going to be get erased, uh, even if the, the camera has to start removing files, if that makes sense. And you can stick this on your dash so it's quick access. Very cool. I like I like that as well. Um, then you get then you get this guy here. First off, before we get this, these guys give you the be all end all manual, right? Oh, there's two boxes, right? This thing is massive. You guys can see it, right? It's a massive manual and it's, it's light, laid out really nice. It's got you know, uh, multiple languages. You can see by the, all the dots, all the different languages that are there. But really, it can be intimidating to look at. But it's that's that's really like your language. So it's not it's not horrible in size, but color. So if you like pictures, that's nice. That's good. Uh, we'll start down here because we get this one's different because you get two. You get two little accessory boxes, and of course you get your uh, little cleaning cloth, which is super nice, and you get a little protected by, you know. That's, that's cool. Uh, different languages. Nice. And these are what you're going to get stuck on. They stick these on your dash and then your camera sticks to it. Helps with the sticking, helps with, uh, <clears throat> removing down the road as well. So those are, those are also really good. If you want to be able to take your cameras off, use those. It just, it just works. It works way better. All right. So first off, first off, uh, let's look at this one. This is going to be your rear camera your in-dash camera, your facing you camera, my guess is, oh, maybe I'm completely wrong. Look, it's the cable look really, did that cable not look like it should be like really small? Then this cable is gi ginormous. Look how large that cable is. So this is, they want, they want this to go, again, you don't need to, you can, I, uh, for me, honestly, I don't, I think I'm just going to put this in, in the in-dash maybe. I'm not hundred percent sure yet. Um, and then, uh, just use a smaller USB cable. I don't, I like, I like having one space inside. Cause you can see out the back window if you really need to not necessarily go to get license plate or whatever, but you also get, which I like, cause it's in the dash. You can also see a little bit more like things happening in the side. So, and just things in, in the, in the cab, right? But that's it. Definitely, a, definitely a smaller camera, like lens wise. There's your sticky. Simple enough. Should have just a USB on it. Yep. Click, 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 barber trick off to the races. Yep. And last but not least, this is going to be all your uh, needed accessories for getting this thing mounted and, and wired up. So there we go. We get a, uh, some additional stickies. So if you need some additional stickies for sticking stuff there, cause maybe you move cars or whatever, it's extra ones of these. 
Uh, this is going to be your uh, USB-C to USB-A cable. This is for if you want to bring it in the house or whatever and be able to move the files from whatever, your camera, I guess, to your computer. This is the mount itself. So that's going to stick on your, win well, not really on your window, sort of on your window, but you're going to use one of those plastic pieces on the window that sticks there and then this sticks to it. And then basically this goes in here and snap right and you're, you hang this up like so and off, off you go and last but not well actually you get this this is your this is your cable tucker yep and this is the be all end all important piece which i'm not going to take out right now but usb c to your cigarette lighter 12 volt style uh, nice long cable of course you can run this with this through your windshield and do all that good stuff or for me for testing i'll just have it dangle and it'll be fine all right, I'm gonna mount this in the car. Uh, I'll figure out if I wanna put this in, maybe I will, put this in the, the rear rear window. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Anyways, uh, stay tuned, we'll we'll mount it. I'm gonna drive around with it for the next couple of days and then uh, we'll, we'll check back and uh, let you know what we think. All right, my friends, so uh, we've been using the Vantru dash cam now for a couple days and um, a few things just to realize. I'll, first off, I'll talk about it up against the uh, E1 to the E2. If you're, because the E1, if you have never seen that one, is just a front facing camera, whereas the E2 is a front facing and a rear facing camera, which goes in the, in the back window. Um, I would say if you don't care about the back one, the E1 is, is a, probably a better camera. Uh, it has, uh, a better uh, or at least an option or a better option for actual widescreen if that's important to you because uh both the e1 and the e2 at their highest resolution actually shoot and i can't tell if it's a four by three or a three point three by two aspect ratio um and that gives you it's it's wide 100 percent. it's nice and wide which is great but it's it's one of those things that when you look at it if you're not kind of aware you may be a little confused by it because it's actually really tall. It's a really tall shooting camera and a wide shooting camera, which actually is really good. Um, so on the E2, you can shoot in two resolutions. You can shoot, it's slightly lower, and I'll just put up the resolutions that you can record in here. You can shoot slightly lower at 30 frames per second, and then you can shoot at like its full resolution at 24 frames a second. So all the shots that we kind of shot here were at 24 frames a second because we wanted the highest resolution. And for me, 24 frames is fine because even the videos that I shoot here for you guys, 24 frames. So it matches. Um, so I do like the fact that you have that extra height as well. So you don't actually have to have it you know, perfectly shot out with the right angle and everything to catch everything. It's going to always be nice and wide. And because you got that extra, you know, height and, and lower areas, because it takes this and expands it up like this, um, it's actually better. But a lot of people may be a little confused when they look at it and be like, well, it's not widescreen. Right. It's not. It's just widescreen plus more. So just kind of be aware of that. Video quality wise, it's great. You know what? We, we took it out. Um, I would say the E1 and the E2 are actually very, very comparable. So if you want to see some other video just to see like in different different weather conditions, make sure you head on over and take a look at the uh, uh, Venture E1 video that we put out just a couple days ago. Uh, the E2, actually, it's, it's you know what, for the fact that most or a lot of cameras that have a dual, a dual camera system, so they do have like a front facing and, and a rear facing either in cabin or out the back window, however you choose. Um, a lot of those end up, uh, one of the cameras definitely suffers. Usually the rear facing camera suffers a little bit. It, it degrades or it comes down in resolution because you're like, maybe it's not, they, they figure it's not as important. But uh, both of these cameras, same resolution, seems quality wise seems to be the same uh you know you're you're getting actually really really nice quality uh the menu system works really well i actually like the fact that the e2 uh is physically a little bigger now take that as you will the e1 which is smaller it's like a square it does allow you to kind of hide it a little more you can kind of tuck it up behind your mirror and it's a little more hidden it's just you don't see it as much the the e2 is wider it's a it's a 
it's same like height, but it's a wider, so it does take up a little bit of space. But the benefit of that, I find, is that the rear screen is bigger. So being able to see the menus, being able to see the information on the screen, et cetera, et cetera, because the screen real estate is bigger, it's easier to see the information on it. For instance, on the E2, you do get, because of the GPS inside, you do get your speed that comes up. Um, I found it much easier to see that information on the E2 than I did on the E1. Just because on the E1, they have, I think, all the same information that's on the E2 is on the E1 on a screen that's, you know, two-thirds the size, right? So it's, it's kind of just crammed in there a lot more still there but i like the fact that it's a little more spacious i guess on the e2 just easier to see menu system again is really good uh the app had no issues with it it logged in the only thing that i find with the app is that it if you're trying to do playback playback the videos from the actual camera right wirelessly to your phone it does take a little bit of time so you'd be patient with it uh but it but it functioned fine um i do like the fact that when you start up the camera for, for the very first time, and this is the same on the E1 as it is on the E2, you know, it, it asks you uh, a little bit of information, like, do you want kilometers or do you want miles? Do you want 60 hertz? Do you want 50 hertz? Do you, do you, we're gonna format your card. Uh, it kind of goes through kind of all the information that you and I should do, but may forget to do if the camera just kind of starts and starts recording. So, you know, it's there's a lot of yes 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 which one do you want which one do you want and then it, then it goes right um easy to set up your wi-fi to the app that was really simple it has a just a button on the on the the button on the far right you just kind of click and hold Every, everything's laid out well you know i'm very pleased with it um right now we have the e1 in my wife's car and we have the e2 in my car and uh i think i think those are going to be the cameras at this point and we've reviewed a lot of cameras on our on our channel. Uh, at this point, I think those are the two cameras that we're gonna keep in the cars. They're, they the quality is good. I actually like the three by two because again, you are getting the same width as you would with widescreen. You're just getting extra height, which is great. Who doesn't like extra? You know. I'm gonna put links down below to where you can pick up the Vanshu webcams, dash cams, not re webcams. Don't use this as a webcam, uh, dash cam, and uh, that's it. Uh, I think they're great purchases. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the little notification bell, and I will see you fine folks uh, tomorrow's video. Later, my friends. Links down below. Go on. Later.